Okay, welcome back. Now this uh, weekly update. Starting on the other side here. What I decided to do was down here in the middle. Well, first of all, I got the, the lines painted on the road. So that's been completed. Or at least the initial, you know, I got it kind of painted. Try to weather this portion of the road a little bit because it's a little bit more of a backup, beat up road. Don't really like it. Anyway, so here I decided to put the basic level down like the first ground level of scenery on the peninsula so I got that done all up here round here up around here again just to get the first layer in and this is again just the basic level First level in. What I also did was, uh, I, I guess it kind of helped. I, I, um, I just put some paint, gray paint in there, and sprinkle some ballast in just in between the double track. Try to give it some tooth when you go back and do the actual ballasting. It seemed to work out pretty nice. So you can see this side is also done. Down in here as I kick the foam. And then I got that little hill there. As well, so that's going to sit. I have to go out of town again through for a couple days, so that'll sit and baste its own juices for a while, get good and dry. Then I'll come back and do the next level. Um, what I'm planning to do here, what we're thinking of doing, not sure yet, maybe coming down from the edge of the layout, coming down here, have some high high voltage power lines, and then come over into here and have a substation. I'm not talking just a Walther's transformer and yeah, I'm talking a real nice detailed, <clears throat> you know, really cool looking substation with uh, the appropriate, you know, oil circuit breakers and maybe some shunt reactors and air core reactors and transformers and that kind of stuff. And so that might put that there because there's one that's actually by where we live that looks pretty cool that I've always wanted to model. So you might do that. All right, so we got that done. Like I said, got the road painted, I guess, striped. Good enough for now. And then what I decided to do was come back here. And you can see back there on the hill and embankment, I got the second layer of, of scenery on the hecky ground foam and whatnot. And again, what I did was started with uh, a sill floor mat in the back and then brought out the model scene Matt cut up the, the high bushes, cut it out of the low bushes, cut it up, and then mixed it in with some static grass, some of the hecky static grass. And yeah, those two trees are just sitting there for now. And then the, the deco grass, different deco grass along the embankment, and then some of the foliage to kind of work it into the backdrop. So that was done. I want to do something. That tree is just sitting there, but I was thinking of doing something to. Try to hide that little faux pas there, so don't know yet. I don't really like that tree. I don't think it's a real realistic tree, but you know, put something here to try to block that. And then did along here. I ran out of some stuff. I'm gonna be placing <laughs> unfortunately another rather large scenic express order, but some of this hecky, some of the um later form matches pretty nice with the kind of the, the field there so but I ran out so I gotta add some more but you can see where it's in there it kind of does a nice job of of matching in and then just started here again it's it's kind of you know getting into mid fallish time so there's some of the darker foliage down on the bottom of the embankment put some colors in and some static grass because they kind of matched in relatively well not perfect. I, I d just don't have. They don't make the right perfect color for that. But it kind of matches. And then same thing here. A little different color. Just trying to kind of match this section here, so that you know kind of comes out. And then I kind of brought it out with the static grass again. Not perfect, but I think it looks okay. And then got the some of the ballast again. Just some paint with some ballast on it, just to start to give it some tooth. So, that was accomplished as well. I did 
finally, pardon the massive sweep there, I decided to use some stuff that I found, that I had. <laughs> this is Viejo Brown Earth, which is pretty cool. It's like an, an acrylic paste. Kind of gritty, looks kind of like mud. And I put some in here, and since it's acrylic, what you can do is mix it with other colors. So I actually mixed it with some, like a grimy black color, to get this kind of the color of mud. Put one layer of the realistic water in, let it dry 24 hours, and now the second one, the second thin layer is in there to try to make that look like a, a little bit of standing water there and some mud. And then back here you can kind of see how the cracked mud is working. I think it looks okay. There's only a small little area there. And again, that's the Citadel ah, a grill and Earth. And you just kind of paint it on there nice and heavy and then it dries up and cracks. So I don't know how well this will zoom in if you can see kind of how that looks. I think it looks okay. And then I put some more of the other agrel or the uh, no, the uh, brown earth Viejo acrylic paste that was mixed with other paint to kind of give it a browner color. More like mud back there in the background. So I didn't do much else here. I've not yet been out, been out to find the mystery sign what it is but I will. So this is pretty cool stuff. Um, I got that. Again, didn't do a whole lot more here. <clears throat> Still need to go back and work on the ballast. Put another layer on. So that is pretty much it for this week. I did actually do some work on the Central Valley Bridge, which took some time. If you're following that, that update is posted on our uh, Extra Section channel. So next, what I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to put a rather large order in at Scenic Express for some of the more hecky items. What I'd like to do when that comes in, and I'll be gone, so it'll come in and I'll have it for next weekend, is actually get, use those products, all that stuff, to get all of this, you know, all around here, here, back along there, in here. We do a little bit more in here, get this done, and then come over here and do the same thing. So kind of get like the second layer, the vertical layer started, and get all this done all around here. I'll have to do something with that field, but that won't be too long. I'll probably do that Wednesday, Thursday night and have the weekend down here just to kind of work on it. So that's what we're planning to do, and then I'll be able to get this bridge in. Well, the one thing I notice is I hate that ballast now. Now that I see the Woodland Scenics ballast, uh, it's, it's just, ugh. I don't know. Don't like it at all. Um, so, that is pretty... Oh, one thing I did find. Let me just do a quick pause. and I'm very excited about something I found in a box underneath the layout. Okay, giant trees. Woohoo! I thought I had these, and for quite a while I couldn't find them. But they were in a box under the layout with other stuff on top of it. And I started digging through it, and sure enough, I have these two. Uh, no, 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 not a big deal, but I had bought them, bought them, purchased them for the old layout, never had a chance to use them, so now I got some nice big foreground trees, I had another one in there, so, and these are big, I mean, these are definitely large trees, so, they will go somewhere on the layout, I just thought that was really, really exciting, so, you gotta love it when you find stuff that you thought you, you remember having, and then you actually find it, and you go, hey, look at that, I found it, yay! All right, well, as we were talking, I noticed that uh, these two came back to the field. That must mean something's on its way. See, the farmer out there was working. and was a little curious what the heck's going on, but they talked to him, and he's kind of cool with them just kind of sitting there to to watch trains in a, in a part of his field there. So I don't know. I think something, something may be coming. So let's just uh, take a look and see if we can uh, get lucky here again this week. Well, I went down and talked to those guys, and they say there's a local coming. It's going to be held at 97 for a Q351 with some foreign power to, to pass them and the locals are going to cross over and go into the transformer factory. So let's see what uh, we got here.
Let's try to get to 97 before he does. It's going to be close.